Hello, today we are going to see how to create a table, how to insert a data into a table and how to select or how to retrieve the data from a table in PostgreSQL database. So before that, if you are visiting my uh, channel for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, earlier we have seen how to create a server and how to create a uh, database in PZ admin. So now you see here uh, these are the databases I have uh, already created demo DB. So if you observe inside the public schema, uh, if you go to the tables here, this is a fresh database. I don't have any tab uh, tables or any data in this database. So now first I am going to create a new table. So with the syntax I will uh, show you how to create. So you just click on this query tool. Now we will write a command for that create table. You uh, just uh, give a control space bar then uh, that intelligence will come in the database editor. So I am just selecting a table. Uh, table name I am going to take employee now uh, just open the parenthesis now here uh, if you see uh, i'm giving a column name and data type and then if you have any constraints just give that constraints otherwise you can add later also constraints there is no issue okay you just see i here i'm giving employee id and uh, this is a data type is integer and um, it is i'm giving it as a not null constraint now and primary key as well okay so you just give primary key and now uh, name name column okay so name varchar data type is a varchar so that uh, data I mean column size will be i will accept till 25 characters not more than that okay now just uh, end with the semicolon here if you see this option this is execute just execute it you see here a query return successfully and table has been created you just go to tables and refresh it you observe here just see here inside this employee here automatically the database structure of creating a table came okay so here employees under this columns were employee id name i got it so this is the employee id not null and name okay and constraints one one we have given that is a primary key okay so this is how to create a table there is another way also to create a table that is you just simply here uh, you just click on this tables option right click here you go to table and see here table name you can give uh, something like course okay so i am just creating another table uh, I mean it is like a drag and drop not through commands okay there are two ways so i am showing this way also so here uh, the columns this is the table name and the columns you have to add here just select see if you already have the same columns in another table you can uh, inherit from there itself otherwise you just add it here see here plus symbol is there right you just add name like uh, course id data type you need to select here course id will be i am selecting as a integer see here automatically here we have a data types that you can select and then not null yes this will be not null and the constraint also primary key another column i am going to add that is course name and uh, you just uh, select uh, uh, varchar character varying or varchar both are similar so just select a character varying here uh, course name will be like 30 i am giving and just select whether it is a not null or uh, something else okay so i am selecting not null yes course name should be mandatory i am giving okay now just save it 
that is it see here course table already created see this is the structure of table creation which will be very easy for functional people I think uh, we no need to worry about uh, I mean uh, uh, remembering the syntaxes of a table how to create how to insert that are not required just simple way we can create like this uh, a second way is useful but for developers those kind of people uh, the first way is uh, mandatory because uh, we have to remember uh, this all uh, commands syntaxes everything which will be useful for more in many cases uh, it is useful ok so now uh, table got created now what I will do we will insert data into table just go to query editor ok now just in employee then table I mean that is the table name values see if you give any mistake also here uh, itself with the intelligence if it is not coming means then there is a syntax issue otherwise if you execute also it will give a error so just give values here um, just inserting data like employee id right so 101 is the employee id i am giving and name is like um, any name you can give i am giving just rani okay uh, yeah here this is a string data type right varchar data type so you need to give in a single quotes this is mandatory for integer not required just execute the query simply it has been executed ok now we just see retrieve like how many I mean what is what is the data uh, is there in uh, employee table select star from EMP employee ok now just you select here sorry this mouse is not working properly yeah you just select here this one and execute it you just see here this one 101 and the name is Rani which is inserted there is another way also for uh, inserting the data so I will show you in the course table uh, see here you just click uh, I mean right click on the table name ok and just uh, view or edit data you just see all those we do not have any data as of now so we will insert course id will be um, 1 and the name name of the course will be best tech learn I am just giving my channel name ok just save it that is it you, if you want you can give second and java like this you can insert data ok so if there is another way also for retrieving data you just see view yes you just refresh first table then directly you can give uh, select star from otherwise you can directly go to the table and give right click here you just go to the view tables so it will display all the data whatever is uh, inserted in a table that it will display ok so these are the two ways for uh, um, getting or I mean for creating a table or inserting a values into a table or retrieving the data into data from the table so these uh, are the ways uh, which I have explained uh, this is very simple and easy anyone can understand and anyone can learn this is the basic step uh, which is required for database developer or any, any kind of database developers or else any developers and uh, for functional people also uh, you should have a minimum knowledge on the database uh, which will uh, 
will be added as an advantage for you okay so thank you so much for this session um, uh,